Hey guys, it's Amari here, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video to let you know about a very cool new research that just came out that looked at training for strength versus training for size. And this study was done by Brad Schoenfeld, the Brett Contreras, and colleagues. It's a great research study. We actually don't have a lot of control studies looking at uh, training with uh, heavy loads versus moderately heavy loads. So it's pretty cool to see new research. And this study kind of confirmed what we already knew. I mean, they had about 19 males. They were training uh, three times a week on non-consecutive days. And what they found is that those guys that were training uh, more in that range of two to four reps, basically very heavy loads, they'll get more strength gains versus guys who were training in those moderate repetition ranges, those kind of bodybuilding uh, style of workouts, eight to 12, kind of the work that you would see a bro in the gym do most of the time, they got more size. And I mean, looking at comparing just the training volume, we can see why these guys got more size. I mean, they were doing double the volume. And if the heavier group was doing the same amount of volume, they would get the same muscle growth as well as more strength. That's something that Brad Schoenfeld already has done some research that he's on, but of course, if we're looking at a time efficiency, doing sets of eight to 12 would provide kind of the middle ground where you're getting that uh, volume in a very time efficient way, as well as, I mean, we're talking about uh, how less of an effect has it on your joints and all these other things. I mean, training with super, super heavy loads, it's not a very good idea when it comes to accumulation of volume that you need to grow. But when we're talking about purely strength, I mean, this study kind of confirms that it's a really good idea to train based on the principle of specificity, meaning that if you want to lift heavy, you want to get better at lifting heavy, you got to lift heavy. So that's kind of um, what it comes down to. You want to train closer to that one rep max, somewhere in the range two to four if for maximizing your strength. I mean, there's neural adaptations going on, there's motor skill, learning patterns, and all those other things, improving your technique. Those things play a really key role. But for guys who are more interested in... Um, purely kind of bodybuilding, uh, hypertrophy kind of work. I mean, you can stick mainly to that eight to 12 and make sure that the bulk of your training is in that kind of moderate repetition range with some work being done for the, with those heavier loads and some work being done with those higher repetition ranges. And of course, that's kind of my recommendation that I've been uh, uh, going with for the last couple of uh, years, I would say, is really train across all the repetition ranges. But if you want to specialize for at least for time efficiency, you want to train in that 8 to 12 range for the most part to get that necessary volume to grow. And this is something that, I mean, this is not just my recommendation. If you look at guys like Eric Helms, if you look at guys like Brad Schoenfeld himself, I mean, we can see that uh, training across repetition ranges, uh, it's a really good idea to mix up all the repetition ranges so you're not kind of uh, doing only one thing. And even, I mean, high-level powerlifters, they will still do some form of that moderate repetition when they need to grow muscle size because eventually, I mean, of course, you want to do that as well and not just training with super, super heavy loads. And what are some of the practical implications here? Well, for most bros in the gym, I mean, sticking with that eight to 12 is completely fine. I mean, as long as you're hitting that proper range of motion, you're getting that volume, you're accumulating volume, enough volume to grow, that is completely fine, as well as it would be a good idea to, at least on occasion, include some uh, training with those heavier loads to really make sure that, that uh, you're maximizing strength gains as well. And this can be done either in within a week fashion, so something like daily undulating periodization. Let's say you have a heavy day on Monday, then let's say on a Thursday you have more of a kind of a moderate load day, or you could do blocks of training, let's say four weeks where you focus on more of moderate repetition ranges, then you go into uh, heavier loads afterwards, maybe even let's say 12 weeks of moderate and then uh, two um, weeks of uh, heavy loads. I mean, you can mix training up in any way you want. The big idea, of course, always is to manage your recovery and make sure that you are recovered enough and that you're also getting adaptations in a way that you're basically focused on that progressive overload component. And that is regardless of the repetition range, the goal is, of course, to increase the loads or be able to do more reps with the same loads, basically getting progress. And progress, I mean, you can progress easily with even higher repetitions. If you stick to 20 to 25 reps, you can still focus on progressive overload. And that's one big thing that I want to point out here that a lot of bros who are training in that 8 to 12 repetition range, they, they forget the component of progressive overload. And they're so focused on this kind of special methods like supersets, cutting rest periods, doing some kind of uh, eccentric loading or force reps, drop sets, or whatever. Well, the main component that is going to make you grow, and that is the kind of the goal of the 
training is that progressive overload where you're increasing that mechanical tension over the course of training, whether depending on your experience level, that can be week to week or even workout to workout for beginners. But for most intermediate advanced, it's probably going to be something like um, several weeks or month to month basis in super, super advanced athletes can be actually a month or two months until you can actually get a new PR from a mesocycle to mesocycle, basically, you get some PR. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I have some really cool uh, airplanes flying above me. Let me show you guys real quick what's going on here. It's pretty cool. And uh, let me know if you have any questions on uh, training for size versus strength. So leave me uh, that in the comment section below. I already talked about this topic several times I believe in some of these voiceovers that I did on my workout videos and I'm definitely going to go in depth on the topic and kind of on the practical implications how to design your own training program in the future that is going to be done and that's something I'm really really excited for so hope you guys enjoyed and as I said leave your comments below make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video peace